everybody and welcome to my channel. Now I'm on the way to Parque Ecologico that is in the Lago de Texcoco, in the Lake of Texcoco, that is in the Valley of Mexico, the Mexico City Valley. This is so exciting. Parque Ecologico in Lago de Texcoco, surrounded by mountains because it's in the valley of Mexico. And this is a new project that has just been started with uh, preserving the nature and making a lot of things for the people to come and see. We are going to see the lake of Mexico, the original one where the Aztecs settled down. They're waiting to get a bicycle so they can bike around in this place and see around what's going on. And now we can see on the map, it looks like we're here. Just found some really sweet fans here that was following my channel. And como se llama? Tadeo. Claudia. Emiliano. Edgar. Mucho gusto. Muy contentos y bienvenidos. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Suscríbanse al canal, denle like y comenten. Muchas gracias. Estamos muy contentos que vengan a conocer la riqueza de la naturaleza aquí en México. Que nos visiten. Estamos visitando el parque ecológico. Vamos a conocerlo, a los, a los hijos, porque bueno, pues ellos son los que deben de aprender a cuidar el planeta y que vean toda la riqueza que tenemos aquí en México. Suscríbanse al canal. So now we arrived to something that looks interesting. See? It's well made here with all these bicycle roads and let's go and see what's going on over here. This nature area. People are bicycling here. It's very nice. It's not that far to walk. You can see that things are just growing really wild here, which is all the plan to take care of the nature and hold it as it was before. It's a picnic area. Let's go and see it. It's really nice made everything. It's very nice and exciting going in this direction. Little off road here. So they made so many new buildings and stuff for people to explore. And uh, the bus is inside here, it's electric. It's a 
lechitas. Llegan hasta la puerta. Climbing many things, agaves and cactus. And House made of wood here. It smells like something that they built a Viking house from in Denmark. So this is the visitors area here that they made this nice house out of wood and it's like so some oil that they put on this wood and it's really like organic made I can see. They use really natural materials here. Look at this. What are the construction here? They have just opened, so it looks like they're going to put a coffee shop in here or something where people can eat and look at these wooden chairs or actually not an Aztec temple but it's newly made but it looks very much like pyramids. Here you can see the local animals that you can find here. Let's see. Yeah, there's so much sport, many sporting games that you can play and this is the Aztec ball game that they have made here. Let's go and see it. And now I found a group of real Aztecs that wants to show me how to play the Aztec ball game. Maybe I can try it also. Let's see. Now, sorry, what's your name? My name is Jose. Jose is going to show me how to play the ball game of the Aztecs inside. That's nice. In the full version about the Aztec ball game here in Glendanese, you're going to hear about the history and the rules of how the Aztec ball game is played. It's super interesting. I recommend you to go and watch it after this. Okay, so much for showing us about the Aztec ball game. It was super interesting and fun to try to play. It's so so hard. It's a very heavy ball, so I have to be very strong. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Kinamechi, vale, tres. Una, dos, tres. Kinamechi! They were just so, so, so nice. That was really interesting to hear about all the things they had to tell and see how to play this old Aztec ball games that I actually heard about a lot of times, but I never really tried it to see it, how it was played. And now I even tried it myself. Uh, very heavy boat. So now we're going to the next place.
on the other side looks like there's something else here. They're playing American football here. <laughs> to multi sports area this way. Look how nice it is. All these wooden buildings. It's very interesting here. You can do many many activities of different kinds. Looks like there's so many things under construction still. And I also I think that they're going to sell things also here. Because for example you see they made ready for place to, to sell hopefully drinks because Glendelis is so thirsty right now. <laughs> hopefully I find something. asking somebody if they, if they knew where to buy water and then they gave me some juice how sweet was that muchas gracias if you see this video muchas gracias now i'm walking back to the parking and as you can see here there's tracks for the bicycles and I just had to shortcut, that's why I'm walking here. I don't recommend you to do it, but you can see this is for the bicycles and out there is for the cars. Very smart. And there's bus stations that is not finished yet, but they are, everything is under construction and, and it's looking very nice. YouTube videos, so nice to meet you. Nice Muchas to meet gracias. You. Thank you. Welcome <laughs> to Lago de Texcoco. Ah, gracias. <laughs> Say hi. Bye. And this is the nice view of Lago de Texcoco. Look at this. Beautiful here.
this nature area here used to be real lake in the 1500 but now it's dried out and more like swampy area but but all this is you get a good picture of the whole valley of mexico here with the mountains and that's the mexico, mexico city and so much nature so on to the next place And in the background you see Popocatepec. I don't know if you can see it because it's behind clouds, but it's in this direction. The biggest volcano in Mexico City. I made a video. You can go and watch it after. Look at this. Beautiful nature. Here's a part of Texco Lago de Texcoco that is really a lake now and you see how beautiful it is and you hear the birds. Look at this little insect. Beautiful here. Yeah. Life is a chance. You have to take it. You have to see. The earlier government wanted to build an airport, so they closed down the rivers that was putting water to Lago de Texcoco, the lake of Texcoco, and that's why the area here is so drained because because the water could not get in. But now the water starts to come back because they opened again the rivers. The, the water here is is salty water, so the Aztecs actually used this salt from Lago de Texcoco to boil the corn and to give this salty flavor. So actually still some people is using that salt that's very original from this place. And the salt is called Tequesquite in Nahuatl. In the background far away you can see where we were before, this ball game. The Aztec ball game is this thing coming up in the background. Way in the background, you can see Mitzika Tower actually. That's a very nice mall that I love to visit sometimes. Show me. Over here is Monte Klarlak and it's the sea world and Pokotepec after the volcano. And uh, over there was the pass of where Cortes entered into the valley of Mexico City. the environment that he saw besides there was way more water because it was If you 
channel to never miss out on anything. See you guys very soon for new adventures. I love you.